Hello, um, welcome seniors. We are continuing our College and Career 101 webinar series. Um, and today we're gonna be talking about matching your career interests to a career or major. Um, so let's get started. So thinking about what are my plans gonna be post-graduation? Um, you know, what, what is my future gonna look like? How do I match my interests with a career or a major? And this can be an exciting time for students, but it also can be really challenging and maybe even overwhelming when you're thinking about, I've got so many options and I don't even know what I'm interested in or know what I'm good at. Um, so that's kind of what we're gonna dive into today. Um, so again, this can bring questions of what do I value? What am I good at? Um, and how do I pick something that kind of aligns what I'm good at and my strengths? So we're here to help. Um, so definitely, you know, we're hopeful that you'll stay with us for this um, webinar series, but also, you know, definitely reach out to your college advisors here at South or um, make an appointment with your school counselor. Um, th these are definitely folks that can help you um, figure out these interests and figure out how, you know, to develop a plan for post-graduation. Um, so First of all, to get started, knowing about yourself and knowing about your interests and your strengths is really helpful for you know, so many areas of your future life. So whether you are in the application process, so you're applying to jobs or maybe applying to scholarships or colleges, um, whether you're you know, in doing interview preparation, so you really wanna you know, think about, okay, what am I gonna say if an interviewer is asking me questions about myself and what I bring to the table? Um, and then also when you're, res you're writing a resume or cover letter, um, when you're describing yourself and what you're good at um, and what sets you apart as a candidate, you definitely wanna know about um, who you are and what you value. Um, so it can also help you again to decide where do you see yourself? What kind of career or major do you want to pursue? So where do I begin? Um, so this is the ONET Interest Profiler. Um, so my hope is that you will um, go to this link right here. You can pause this video, go to this link and take this um, short interest survey. It'll take you about five to 10 minutes. Um, so you can go to this website or on ONET. You can also go to your CFNC um, account and you can go to the senior tab, plan for your future, and then go to this complete assessment. Um, and it'll take you over to the ncareer.org, which also provides an interest um, finder survey. So you can, you know, pick which option you'd prefer. Um, they'll give you the same end results. Um, so again, that link will be right here. Okay. So hopefully by this point, you have had a chance to take an interest profiler and you've received your codes. Um, so what does this code mean? Um, so hopefully you were able to take it and receive three codes, which means maybe your strong suits in three specific areas. Um, each person has a combination of all six of these areas. However, usually there's about two or three um, areas that are more prominent for people. Um, so basically the whole point of this, so what do these codes even mean? Um, the hope is that your codes um, kind of will help you find what environment is going to you know, best match your skills and abilities, um, because this um, whole interest profiler believes that you know, you're more likely to be successful if your strengths are matched with the environment you're going to be you know, pursuing, whether that's working or college. So we're going to jump into the different codes. Um, so if you received an R code, you're going to be a realistic viewer. Um, so this means that you prefer to really kind of be hands on. So maybe that's operating machinery or tools or plants. Um, you know, maybe you're athletic or adventurous. Um, so thinking about where do realistic people work? Um, realistic individuals can work in healthcare, um, law or government, outdoors and construction. Um, some career titles might be, you know, an architect or an environmental scientist, a police officer, um, a furniture designer, athletic trainer, um, and then some majors even. So if you're deciding you want to pursue college, um, you can, you know, maybe major in exercise science or graphic arts or sustainable development. Um, so these are just some some things to kind of get you thinking about, okay, what does it mean to be realistic? Next, we're going into the investigative category. So if you received an I code, um, this means you're a thinker. You tend to be a little bit more logical. 
Um, so you like to observe, kind of sit back and really take in information um, before you um, kind of make decisions. So where do investigative people work? Um, typically, you know, you can work in, you know, healthcare, hospital, or corporations, you can do some academic research. Um, you could also work for museums or science centers. Um, some investigative career titles would maybe be, you know, a pharmacist, a veterinarian, um, a computer programmer, um, dietitian or nutritionist. Um, investigative majors, again, if you're pursuing college, might be computer science, psychology, um, mathematical sciences, chemistry, anything that you're really kind of using that logical. You are the artistic category, meaning you have an A code. Um, this is referred to as the creative. Um, so you definitely have that creative um, exploration and expressive piece going for you. Um, so you prefer unstructured situations where you can really just have the freedom to create and express. Um, where do artistic people work? So maybe they work in architectural design, um, production companies, maybe you work in retail. Um, or magazines, maybe do some journalism, some career titles for our artistic folks might be a photographer or an interior designer, um, a film editor, um, definitely just something where your creative, um, you know, expressive skill sets can be put to, to good use. Um, some artistic majors might be um, communication and advertising or merchandising, music education, um, philosophy, so anything where you're able to really explore and express yourself. The social category. So these are for our helpers. Um, so this means you really like to be around others and support them. Um, so where do social people work? So maybe in hospitals, healthcare, nonprofit settings, nursing, um, you know, schools. What are some career titles? So maybe you're a social worker or a physical therapist, a school teacher, or um, a registered nurse. Um, some social majors might be again social work or communication disorders. Um, child development, um, special education, healthcare management, just anything where you're really able to help people. Enterprising. So if you received an e-code, this means you're a persuader. Um, so these individuals are able to really be assertive, ambitious. Um, they're able to kind of be competitive as well. Um, enterprising people work in advertising agencies, doing sales, marketing. Um, they also can work for um, hospitality industry, such as hotels, resorts, um, enterprising career titles. So maybe you're a financial planner, maybe you um, are a sales manager or a real estate broker. Um, some enterprising majors, so maybe you pursue public relations or hospitality and tourism, international business, marketing, um, or even insurance sales. So these are all kind of enterprising fields. Conventional, so if you received the code C, um, this means you are an organizer. So you really like attention to detail, um, you like to work with data, numerical abilities, you're organized and systematic. Um, so where do conventional people work? And maybe you work at an accounting firm, um, a government organization, insurance companies, hospitals, healthcare. Um, conventional career titles might look like a data manager or um, a medical records technician, an accountant, or a budget analyst. Um, definitely just anything where you can really get that fine tuning and attention to detail. Um, and conventional majors might look like um, computer information systems, um, business management, supply chain management, um, financing and banking. So with all this to say, whatever your codes might be, um, it definitely, you know, makes hopefully gives you a good sense of who you are and what your strengths are. Um, because again, these knowing who you are um, and what you value and what you bring to the table um, will definitely help you to kind of start forming those post-graduation plans. Where am I going to end up? What do I want to pursue? Um, so hopefully from this webinar or some extra research that you've done on your own, meeting with your college advisor or school counselor, you'll start to be able to kind of put those pieces together and figure out what am I good at um, and where do I see myself down the road? Um, if you have any more questions, definitely reach out to your resources.